So let's look at this inorganic chemistry question on SPDF configuration. The question here says, the question here says the electronic configuration of magnesium ion that's Mg2 plus is. So you have your options here, option A, B, C, D. All right. Um, this question here is on the SPDF configuration of um, elements. And in SPDF configuration of elements, we said the first thing you have there is 1S, um, 1S, okay. Then you have 2S and then 2P. Then you have 3S, 3P, 3D. All right. Um, we can continue with this, but I think for this question here, you just need this one here. And the arrangement is simply this 1S first, and then 2S, and then this 3P, 2P, 3S. So you're having this as 1S, 2 the next up you have 2s okay and then following this arrow here the first thing you have here is actually 1s and then 2s that's what we have there then if i follow the arrow here from this part you have 2p before 3s that becomes 2p and then 3s that's why you have the arrangement as 1s 2s 2p 3s probably 3p and the likes of it but then the the caption is this so we've discussed this concept already in our previous class, right? Why I thought on the concept of the SPDF configuration and how to arrange elements in SPDF configuration. I'll leave a link to that class in the video description, all right? So check the video description. You see a link to the class on SPDF configuration and how to arrange literally any elements um, in the SPDF configuration, okay? Now for this, how do we solve this question here? Now, if you have this here, given magnesium, Mg, 2 plus okay now in this case what do you do now the first thing to do here is this um let's ignore the ion that's the two plus first let's ignore the ion let's take a normal magnesium atom all right for a normal magnesium atom there um what you have there is that the atomic number of magnesium is 12 okay and when this is 12 it means that the number of um electrons here is also 12 number of electrons here would be 12 because um, this is a neutral atom. By neutral atom, we mean there is no positive attached to this atom here. Neither is there a negative. So it's just magnesium like this. It becomes a positive, it becomes a neutral atom, which has 12 electrons. Now, one thing to notice is that when an atom is positively charged, it means it has lost electrons. So atoms lose electrons to become positively charged so if i now have mg2 plus what does that mean that means that this this atom here has lost electrons and has also lost two electrons now normally i should have 12 electrons the two plus means it has lost two electrons so it becomes 12 minus 2 i remove the two electrons that are lost and that gives you 10 electrons so it means that in, a, in an Mg2 plus um, atom or in a magnesium atom or in a magnesium ion, all right, for a magnesium, magnesium ion, we, um, we have 10 electrons because two has been lost. All right, this is key to answering this question. We have 10 electrons. Now, what else do we do? We'll come back to this configuration here, right? We'll arrange 10. Um, using this configuration, note that for S, the maximum number of atoms that or electrons that S can contain is 2. For P, the maximum number of electrons that P can contain is 6. All right. Let's use this for um, this arrangement there. So for magnesium, Mg2 plus having 10 electrons, the first thing I have there is 1S. So I have 1S. We'll fill up 2 for because for s the maximum the maximum is 2 so it becomes 1s to part 2 after 1s the next we have there is 2s so we'll come here we're having 2s also for s we said the maximum is two electrons that becomes two so far so good i have filled in two plus two i have filled in four electrons right remember that this has 10 electrons magnesium ion has 10 electrons i have filled in four what is left is 6. 6 is left. Okay. Next thing I have there now is now 2P. After 2S, so we have 2P. So we now have 2P. And for P, we said the maximum number of 
electrons that P can contain is 6, so it becomes 2P6. So we have this. And if I count this, we have 2 plus 2. That gives us 4. 4 plus 2, that's 10. That's the total 10 electrons. So hence, this now becomes the SPDF configuration. That means we'll now ignore the next one, which is 3S. We'll ignore the 3X and just work with this. So my answer is 1X to power 2, 2S to power 2. 2p to power 6 that becomes the answer to the question um okay so that's option c so the answer the answer is option c all right so as i said i've explained everything you need to know about spdf configuration in our previous class i'll leave a link to that video in the video description so check video description you'll see a link to the full class lecture on spdf conf configuration in inorganic chemistry okay all right, guys, I've prepared over 100 classes on some of the major topics in physics, chemistry, mathematics, and other science subjects, okay? For each of these topics, I've treated past questions for JAM and YEG for the last 10 years, all right? In order to assess these courses, simply visit my website, www.jonahimano.com forward slash courses, and you see the JAM slash YEG course, all right? You can first of all create an account with the website and then proceed to order for the course. It gives you a lifetime access to each of these courses and the new courses we'll be bringing in, all right? Or you can simply join my channel membership, all right? So you can click on the link in the video description. I'll leave a link to my channel membership in the video description, right? You can join the Jam slash YEG channel membership to get access to exclusive videos on Jam, um, on jam and wire classes all right okay guys um as usual please if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button so like this video leave a comment tell us if you enjoyed this video or if you have any question leave it in the comment section subscribe to this channel if it's your first time or if you're yet to subscribe please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload a new content and then don't forget to finally share this video to your friends so that they can also learn thank you and see you in our next class